So what I think about free running, I was thinking about this because we were free running last week with Tim Sheaf and uh, it's made me think about what I think about the sport and uh, I think it's really, well I love it, I think it's a wicked little physical uh, challenge and it's like, yeah it's a cool physical challenge that's like suited to your personal skills and abilities because you can you know, just doing any old little jump, like it's jumping up to there if that's hard for some people. <coughs> so yeah, you can do it how you want. But uh, an interesting thing about free running is it's I think it makes it's quite subversive. You're like they have accepted ways to use things like stairs and like open spaces that are traditional. You know, obviously there's the intended use. You know, you're supposed to walk in a certain way, walk on the like pavement or footpath. You know, you climb the steps in a way. But free runners, they they're not bound by those rules. They can use, they can just you know forget all the rules and just use things their way. You know, they don't see, they may not even see the world the same way and I think that's quite a cool thing as well it's not just about a physical um, it's not just a physical skill that you improve in it's also perceptual you know free runners they can they know what their body's capable of and they when they look at uh, the world they don't see pavements and stairs like like we're conditioned to see they see like cool jumps and like ways they can climb and scramble up and routes different routes they can take I think that's cool because it fit, I think uh, that's like a true animal. They're like an animal, and I, I, when I say an animal, I mean it in a good way. Like we are animals, but we've forgotten that, or we hide it, and we're conditioned to think we're different. But we're not different. We're animals. You know, they have to accept that we are. And free runners, you know, they're just more like animals in a cool way. You know, they don't see the, the rules of like normal use don't apply because they can because they just have taught themselves to ignore all that crap and just live the way that they want to live. And it makes me think about, maybe subversive, they're not subversive, it's not that they're subversive because uh, they're not like subverting the system from the inside, they're like just ignoring the system completely and doing things their way and uh, it reminds me a bit of veganism because you know there's accepted things that we're taught and conditioned to think like killing animals is okay but hurting animals that's not okay Killing animals to eat, that's fine. But you know, if you kick a dog or something, that's not okay, that's wrong. And we all like accept that, and that's sort of, you know, if someone repackages that and says it a different way, it can sound weird. But you know, that is the that is the standard that we're all taught. And we're taught it really well. Like I, you know, you sort of think it's normal and that, <laughs> that it's okay to kill but not okay to hurt. And you know, so I feel like veganisms are like in the same way as free runners like subvert or ignore the existing rules of society with regards to how you walk around, how you move and interact with the world. Vegans ignore or have got outside of the accepted conditioning of thinking, you know, it's okay to kill animals. Like I'm saying, we are animals, and obviously some animals do kill animals. But for those animals, they have a moral imperative to do that because that is their diet. Whereas, whether or not you think it's natural to eat meat, I don't believe it's natural to eat meat. But 
even if you do think it's like natural to eat meat, you have to acknowledge that people uh, live a long, healthy life as vegans, and therefore it's very possible to not just survive but live a healthy life without killing animals. Well, if that's true, then that really does um, put the emphasis purely on pleasure. The only reason you are killing something is for pleasure, and that's not really good enough. Like, you enjoy meat, okay, that's not really good enough to kill something because you enjoy, just because you enjoy the taste of the product. So, so I might like to feel there's a parallel between veganism and free running. But. is truly like a 3D place like you can move in any direction like whereas you know everyone else they just walk around they walk around uh, you know on the flat whereas free runners they live in like a larger life you know the entire world height and depth you know that's all there's as their playground you know so I just think it's really cool and I think free free running free is the right word for them because they are free of like the they free themselves of the perception that says you can't do these things and I just think that's cool. Anyway, here's I'm going to do some free running now. Let's do some jumping!